Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafting Made Easy. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a sublimation phone grip. Stand by. For this tutorial, of course, you'll need your phone grips. I will put in the description box where I got these from. They come um, in black and white, and it comes with the phone grip portion, and then it comes with the part that you'll actually sublimate on. You'll need a computer or a tablet, phone, or however you um, put your images on, and then you'll need a sublimation printer with sublimation ink, and you'll also need a heat press, or you can use an easy press. Um, yeah, I think that's all. Oh, and you'll need an image, of course. But we'll get to the computer, and you'll just put whatever, whatever image you want to put on here is what you can put on here. So um, let's go into the computer, and let's set that up. Well, like I said, you'll need an image. You can um, use any type of software to do your image. I will be using Cricut Design Space. Um, I already have an image that I want to use, but you can get any type of image anywhere you want to from Google or um, Etsy, wherever you get your images from, you can use whatever image. Um, if you're selling said image, just kind of make sure that it's not copyright or you may get in trouble for selling it. So I just want to kind of put that out there. I will be using this picture and this right here. So the first thing and I'll get a shape. So you want to measure your um, phone grip. So the circle, you'll want to measure the um, circle. So the circle, I've already measured it, it is 1.5, but I'm going to do the image just a little bit bigger so it can have like a little um, overlap. But you can uh, measure it to whatever length or size you want it to go. Let's see. And I kind of already played around with it a little bit because I printed it out at first, but my um, print heads needed to be clean. So it, the image didn't come out as crisp as I wanted it to. So I'm just I'm trying to redo it. But at any rate, I'm going to make this smaller because I want this here. And I want that there. So you basically just want your image to fit in your circle. And I'm going to show you an easy way to do that. You're going to um, select both of them. And I'm going to arrange it. Not arrange. Align and make it centered. And then I'm just going to make it smaller together. All right, and then I am going to just kind of leave those two like that. Now for this step to work, you want this to be just a little bit bigger. And you want to Align it all so it'll be all centered. So everything should be in the center. And then I want to slice this, but since it's three pictures, I'm not able to slice it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide one. I'm going to select. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, let me undo that because um, my circle... I want it to be an even circle so I'm going to select both of those so they can move together and then I'm going to do that okay let me uh, make this back in the center there we go I'm going to undo that right, let me see and then we're going to hide the minion and then I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to slice. All right, so that should have sliced right in the middle. So then I'm going to hide this, hide that, and bring back 
our minion. The minion is in the back, so we'll just hit arrange, center front, and now it's in the middle where I wanted it to be. So let me just make sure I have it centered how I want it. There we go. All right, and so now it is a line and it's the right size and everything that I want it to be. So I'll go ahead and select those two and then I'll flatten it. And you can actually get rid of this. You can um, delete it and you can delete the circle too. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send this to my printer and then we'll be back for the next step. Okay, and I just wanted to come back really quick you want to make sure you mirror your image. Now, if your printer, and I said this before, if your printer is already set up on your computer to automatically mirror your image, you don't have to mirror it. But if your printer is not set up on your computer to automatically mirror your image, you will just um, mirror it. Um, I believe I set it up to where my printer on this computer um, automatically mirrors it but i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm gonna double check that before i you know print it out because i don't want it to reverse it and then it'll go ahead and send it back to the um way it was but with this image it probably wouldn't really matter um it's just kind of how i want the hand to be so but i'll double check that but just make sure you double check your printer before you send it to um print because you don't want your image to be backwards and also to not waste paper make sure you kind of fill up your stuff I have a small sheet of paper in my printer that will be able to um take this and not waste it so but just kind of make sure you don't waste your paper and put a lot of images on there so if you're using like a full sheet it's not being wasted all right I just wanted to say that really quickly Okay, so once you have your image printed out, just go ahead and cut it out um, from around the square. And what you're going to do next is take this piece, oops, which will be the part that you'll sublimate on. It has a plastic protective cover on it. So you just have to kind of find it. And once you find it, oh my goodness. Every time I think I have it, it won't. There we go. You just find it and you peel it off like such. There we go. Like that. And what I like to do is I like to just lay it on top of the image. And you see how it is a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can pick it up. You see how it is a little bit bigger than the circle. So it has just like a little bit of color on the edge. And that's all you really want is just a little bit of color on the edge. So you want to make sure it gets um, fully covered. So I'm just going to line it up in the middle. And then I get my heat um, tape. And I got that from Amazon. And what I do is I just make sure that not too much is hanging over. All right, that's fine. And then all I do is just tape it to the paper. So I get a piece of white regular copy paper, put the image flat and then just put the um, sublimation disc on top of the image and then I tape the image and everything to the copy paper some people do it different some people tape the paper around the disc and all the other good stuff I don't I just do it just like this and it's not moving at all it's just taped to the paper and then I'm going to take this over to my easy press area and then I'm going to um, press it I will put another piece of copy paper or you can just fold this copy paper up like that so it's on top of the metal disc okay so 
you have it all set up like this then you bring your easy press or if you want to use your heat press you can and you'll have it set for 400 degrees for 60 seconds and you just press on it okay so i think it's cooled down enough so let's go ahead and just pop this bad boy up Okay. I don't know something hard got on there but it's coming off it came off um so there is the image I like it I am not selling this this is a gift <laughs> and it came out I did it before and this one I'm not sure if you can really tell let's see if I can get the light on it here we go this didn't come out as bright. I had to clean my um, print head, but this one came out better. So there we go. And the next step, let me just move this out the way, is peeling this off. So again, this is just a protective cover and you're just going to pull it off and it's a sticky part there. And this, I'm not, I don't think this part has anything on there, does it? Let me see. I haven't done this in a minute. I don't think this part has anything on it. Okay, no, the metal part doesn't have anything on it. So you don't have to peel anything off. You just kind of just sit it in the middle. Make sure it's fitting inside of the groove. Press it down. And there you go. Your sublimated foam grip. Really easy. The only big or hardest part is picking your image and um, yeah, just deciding which image you kind of want to do. Um, that's the longest and hardest part of this whole project. Um, I hope you... I mean, excuse me, but other than that, that's pretty much it for the um, sublimation foam grips. The other thing is that it doesn't come in many colors. It just comes in white and black, um, but for the most part, people who have phones and stuff, they their phone kind of goes with the white and black. So, And then you, if you wanted to, you can kind of um, bling it out or put glitter on it and all the other stuff on the side if you really wanted to if not this is cute on its own all right i hope you enjoyed the content of this video if you did go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you are not subscribed to my channel but are watching this video go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when i drop new videos all right y'all until next time peace